good morning to you all welcome back to science class today i will start the new lesson that is uh, coal and petroleum it's a very important concept in the branch of chemistry so you have to learn this concept very carefully then it would have been very useful in your higher classes as well as in your future days right so today we have to learn about the coal and the petroleum my dear students every day we have to use many more materials in our day to day life for example we are using the steel materials water and we have to use air we are using so stone soil so like these we have to use many more things in our surroundings but all the things are same and all the things have a same properties same characteristics no never so every object in the nature they have on its own property and in all its characters but some <coughs> similarity will be available to the different materials so for example i will uh, say some words to you you only classify what difference or at what basis you are separating the things so for example i will take here a and plastic mud water okay here dress and uh, here i'll take uh, forest so here and uh, some more rubber see plastic dress rubber air mud water almost all if i given a chance to classify this one you are maybe classifying this as a air mud and water these are called as natural resources or natural things and these are called man made things because the plastic dress rubber etc etc made up of the man so we have to call it is man made things right so two new words we learnt here that is uh, natural things and the uh, one more is man made things the man made things are called as uh, artificial things right so what are natural sources or what are natural things and what are artificial or uh, man made things see natural things means the sources are the things that occur by nature means nature has to provide for us many things right so the things which occur by nature and that are useful to us they are called as the natural resources the things the things which occur which occur by nature and the tar useful to us in many ways so these are called as the natural resources for example sun energy okay air so these are all called as the natural sources of <coughs> energy or natural source so these are available in the nature over long period of time means up to our uh, death we may call it is up to available always in the nature they are not limited always continuously available in the nature they are called as what the natural sources of light one more is that is man made thing very simple the artificial the person can make some things by hand 
by using their own skills so they those are called as the man made things like plastic or rubber then many things are there made up of the man they are called as man made things are called as artificial things the students the natural things can be classified into two categories that is inexhaustible sources and exhaustible sources here inexhaustible means renewable resources and exhaustible means what are also called as non renewable resources so these are the very very important two concepts in our day to day life then let's we learn about the inexhaustible sources means some sources in the nature available for a long period of time there is no limitation for that for example air many people nearly close together people can take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide to the outside so this is a exhaustible sorry this inexhaustible source air sun energy solar energy they are the inexact inexhaustible sources means renewable resources we can get again and again often and often in our day to day life in the nature they are called as what to inexhaustible sources or renewable resources and one more is exhaustible sources means if we use a, any object in our surroundings they end once we dip, once we use they completely deplete in the nature they are called as exhaustible sources and non renewable resources non renewable in the sense we can't get back that resource in our day to day life that is called as non renewable resource for example lpg natural gas okay petrol diesel kerosene once we have to use that sources will be depleted means end in the nature they are called as exhaustible sources or the non renewable sources so keep this point in our mind so we have to consume the natural resources in our day to day life for example in exhaustible sources like water many people are wasting water without consciousness they are wasting water so we have to avoid that waste of water and today at present situation we are polluting the air so air is very necessary for us also we are already polluting the air so to keep this point always we have to look after the save our natural source of energy like air water solar energy and etc etc remaining concepts we will discuss in the next session thank you